Yo, what is going on everyone? My name is Mewtwo Fan Nate, and I am your coach of the New York Noibats. It is season two, week number one of the P4G, the Pokemon for Glory Draft League. I am going up against Kelly, aka under the radar, of the Maryland Torterrapins, and I am uh, pretty pretty excited slash nervous because um it's just a huge league and considering that Kelly is probably one of the most skilled battlers that I have ever come across it makes it absolutely terrifying he's the uh, season uh, one champion so I, I have a lot to uh, come across so this is actually something uh, that I'm very nervous about this is actually a team that I was kind of expecting uh, and I think sand is gonna destroy me I didn't think Gigalith would come because Gigalith doesn't have that great of a matchup against me, but we're gonna see. So, uh, I have Mega Scissor, obviously, I have Piloswine, I have my Hariyama, my um, my Hydreigon, Tapu Bulu, and Raikou. So, I think with uh, his, like, him potentially leading with Gigalith to get up rocks, or, like, alright, so there's a couple options here because um, he does have a spinner with Excadrill, but we don't know if it's going to be offensive. I think what I could do is I could lead with Tapu Bulu and just get off a um, a Wood Hammer. But the thing is, though, that I'm potentially risking like a Poison Jab from his uh, from his uh, thingy. So I'm going to lead with Chops, just get up my Stealth Rocks. Uh, it will make it very difficult for me, I think. But I think that's what I'm going to do. Chops is guaranteed Rocks. I can't be taunted. He, um, it, there's it's. I'm actually very surprised that I, he didn't bring Snorlax. Um, but other than that, this is kind of a... It's a similar uh, team archetype. That he didn't bring Thunderous. That's the that's the weird thing. Um, did, wait, actually, did he bring Thunderous? Did he, he brought Mega Alakazam, Primeape... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six... No, he... Okay. So... Um, I really regret just not leading Tapu Bulu here because I thought he could definitely leave, like, uh, lead a Scarf, uh, blah, 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 whatever it is, uh, Scarf Primeape and just t potentially do, uh, big damage. So I'm gonna go for the Stealth Rocks here. Um, I don't think, I, I don't think there's a, uh, like, you know, a different reason. Um, we're gonna see what he wants to go for. I mean, Sand is up. So, I mean, we're probably just going to trade rocks, right? So, yeah, we trade rocks here. And I think what I want to do is... See, the thing is... I could go out into Tapu Bulu here, but there's a good chance that he runs Heavy Slam. There's a good chance that he runs Heavy Slam. I don't think it would do too much to my, um... My Pylos wine, because I'm pretty sure I... I got some weight on me, you know, I've been eating good, but I'm pretty sure Tapu Bulu, that's an Oko, I'm pretty sure, um, I didn't expect Gigalith, that's the, that's the, that's the good bring on Kelly's part, but I mean, uh, we're gonna see, um, if Gigalith can knock me out with a, so Tapu Bulu, um, if I bring that down to level 50 and I do Heavy Slam, um, Heavy Slam doesn't knock me out. After Stealth Rocks, though, it has a 31.3% uh, chance to knock me out. So, he's not banded. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of like the max roll. So, what I could do is I could switch out into it. Um, he does. That's not his Z user, so I think I can go into that pretty safely. And then just get a kill. I think. So I'm going to go into Tapu Bulu here. If he goes for Explosion, I'm going to cry. I'm pro I am think I would cry. Let's see what he goes for. Stone Edge, I don't think it's going to kill me. He goes for the Toxic. That's very interesting. Um, so what I could do is I could technically just go for the, uh, like a substitute here. I I mean, he could definitely break a sub, but I don't know if he's gonna want to risk just not get, getting this thing knocked out. Um, so, 
what I will do here is I will just go for the sub. Um, I, I think it's pretty safe just to scout that. Um, we're going to see what happens. Yeah, what if Kelly's listening to me and call right now? I don't think so. I just wanted to make sure that my phone was on silent, and uh, it is indeed on vibrate. Alright, so... The fact that we got a sub off, and I'm pretty sure that he knows he can't live a Z Woodhammer. Um, so, I don't, I don't know how he's going to react to this. He could go for Protect to try to scout it, but... Um, Woodhammer does a, a lot to him anyway, and I'm behind a sub. And... So we do see, all right, and we're going to be able to tell if he can knock out a sub or not. Um, I almost just want to go for Horn Leech just for the uh, the damage and to get some health back. Because I'm at half right now. Um, I guess what I'll do is I'll go for the Z Woodhammer. And I'll probably just get the knockout on this thing. Um, because it will knock it out. The Z Bloom Doom does knock him out. And I'll just be sitting behind a sub, and then I can get a Horn Leech off on something. So, the Bloom Doom goes off. There's no Protect. Um, this Kafagragus is gone. I've done the Calc. Bold, max HP, max defense. Doesn't take the Z Wood Hammer in the terrain. It, it just doesn't. So, that thing is gone. Um... If you wanted to use that to just bluff to, um, I mean, I mean, if you wanted to use this, he doesn't have an infiltrator mon on his, on his, on his side. So, I mean, I am getting worn down with the poison, um, but I am behind a sub, so I can get off, uh, one big hit on literally anything. If he has something that's faster than me and he wants to go for, like, sub or, or whatnot, I'm then he'll definitely wear me out to the point where he can't do anything, but 25% damage on, on him for his substitutes. Um, yeah, it's good damage. It's good damage. Alright, so there's the Primate. There's the Primate. He's gonna take some rocks damage. I'm going to just go for the Horn Leech here, just, um, just to see. I could go for the Woodhammer and knock myself out. But I'm going to see if I can get any recovery. I probably should be looking, you know, to the future, you know. So he just goes for the uh, wood hammer. And uh, what is he going to have? Try to take this, uh, this hit. Um, Tapu Blue with a Prime Ape. Um, let's see. Choice Scarf, U-Turn. Uh, All right, hold on. Cause I th I think that's choice banded. Uh, that's definitely 100% a choice banded primate. Uh, because U-turn does minimum. Uh, I mean maximum. It does max maximum U-turn from a admin primate does 23.1% chance. So, uh, I mean it's yeah 21. 23.1. Jesus Christ, I can't I can't speak. So meaning that the 25% or so to break a sub. Uh, it 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 hit that mark, so it's got to be banded. And I didn't see any life orb damage, so all right. So uh, he's gonna take this horn leech, this Florges, and that does way over half. Um, all right. So uh, the Florges that the Florges took like seventy five percent to that, um, meaning that. It, it's not fully physically defensive and we're gonna find out if this if it has speed investment I might switch out here um, strangely enough I almost want to switch out into my Hariyama and go for the heavy slam on him
I could just go into the uh, chops again. This thing probably would have protect. Um, do I want to lose my Tapu Bulu here? I mean, Tapu Bulu doesn't outspeed anything else besides maybe this, so I think I can just let it go down here. I will go for the Horn Leech. Um, I did put four into speed. He's just going to go for protect. I guess that's, um, you know, that's good by him. Um, and I will probably die next turn of the poison. I think poison knocks me out here. Unfortunately, I wanted to use this... Um, this type of Bulu to try to scout how much speed um, he has. Um, well, he did go for the protect here. Uh, so that means I'm pretty safe just to go out into Scissor and click U-turn. I'm pretty safe just to go out into Scissor and click U-turn. And um, the fact that he doesn't have... Um, Yeah, I can just go out into Scissor and click U-Turn. Or better yet, I could click Heavy Slam. Because if you if we look at his um, his switching to um, to Hariyama, it's not very good right now. I mean, it's it's not very good. I'm gonna go out. And, I think I'm gonna go out into Hariyama because I know I know for a fact I can take one hit of um, pretty much anything. The fact that Tapu Bulu went down is really unfortunate. The fact that Tapu Bulu went down is pretty unfortunate. Um, so let's see. Um, I do have the, my Hariyama here, and Hariyamas catch these. Close combat doesn't kill. I'm gonna go for the heavy slam because it does knock him out. Um, he wouldn't, he would not dare switch in his, uh, his Excadrill to this, I don't believe. I don't believe you would switch it in. I, I don't know why I would switch in my, um, my fighting type into Florges, it makes no sense. But I have Heavy Slam, so, with an Assault Vest, so I should be able to eat the hit, like a Moon Blast or something like that. And uh, Heavy Slam definitely kills, because it does like 90%, and after Stealth Rocks it does, there's a really good chance that it can kill. And based off of the damage that Horn Leech did, it's not fully physically defensive, so uh, this Heavy Slam is going to knock out this Florges. And what's good about after Florges goes down, is that Hydreigon has a really good time with his team. It has a really good time. So he needs to either preserve this somehow if he's like basically if he wants to uh so he goes for moon blast here so that's that's amazing for me that's amazing for me because that won't knock me out and heavy slam will knock him out oh the babir berry like i did call i think it still knocks him out it does So, right now, he only has four Mons left. Um, Excadrill is running really low on uh, its Sand turns. Running really low. I think um, that Gigalith pretty much had um, the Sand Rock because uh, it's been like two turns since my Grassy Terrains disappeared and the Sand is still, uh, still going strong, so... So there's this thing, and I don't really need this uh, Hariyama anymore, so I think what I'm going to do is just click Close Combat and call it a day. I'm going to click Close Combat, call it a day. Um, Earthquake will knock me out. Um, Earthquake does knock me out. 
sandstorm subsides. And I have... I have a pretty good way of beating this thing. I can go out into Hydreigon, click Flamethrower, get it down low enough, and a... Um... Shookaberry Raikou with Aura Sphere should knock it out. Um... I think that's... Alright, um... I think Aura Sphere first. I think Aura Sphere first. Because, uh, I would like Hydreigon just to s clean up afterwards. Um, so... Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into Raikou first, because it sounds... It sounds dumb. But, Aura Sphere is... Is kind of, it, it should unless this is like an assault vest, um, we do live it. Um, I think bear actually, I don't know after rocks, that's kind of dumb on me. Um, but we will get the hit off first because I don't think he's choice scarf. Um, let me see, we have our Raikou here. And we do have the Shuckerberry. I mean, it's pretty obvious that I'm going to go for the Aura Sphere here. Um, and we have his Excadrill. And let's just say he's uh, level 50. And he's let's just say he's Choice Band. Let's just say Choice Band. Okay. Alright. Thank you, Showdown Counts. So, there's actually a chance that he can knock me out. It's, it's going it's actually guaranteed I'm dumb uh, I just misplayed pretty hard because if he's actually no or sphere goes off no matter what I get the damage off oh he's going to save it fork you okay there's the okay so he called that uh, very well he's making some good plays here he's making some good plays although um, I can switch out into chops Because I don't really need chops left. He has. Wait, what other member of his team does he have left? I'm missing something. Um. He doesn't. Alright, so wait, he does. Alright, so he has. He still has the. So Gigalith is down, and so is Florges. No, no, no. Wait, no, Gigalith isn't down. Gigalith is still alive. Did I? I didn't kill Gigalith. Yeah, Gigalith is still around. Alright. I think... Wait, did, I don't remember. I can't remember anything. He says he, says he has four mods. I don't remember which one I knocked out. Alright, so what I'll do... Is I'm going to switch out into Chops. And I think I can click Roar. Just roar him around a little bit. Psy shock. I should eat this. I should eat this. Yeah, I eat that. Um, and what's his earthquake? Oh, wait, I don't have earthquake. <laughs> Funny. Um, I'm gonna go for the Ice School Crash, because, um, yeah, because it's Ice School Crash. As long as I don't miss, I should be, um, doing good damage. If he has Energy Ball, that'll probably knock me out, and I would really, um, I'd be very upset if, for not going for the Ice Shard. I actually really have to take a fist right now. Thank you, very loud, strange person walking down the street. Um, that's HP fighting. There's the Icicle Crash. And that's that's in range for the Ice Shard. Now, does he think I have Ice Shard? Maybe. Maybe. I'm going to go for the Ice Shard. Um, is that in range for Ice Shard? I think. I'm pretty sure that a, I'm pretty sure that Pilot Swine can just, I mean, he's probably going to switch out here to save it because it's important, but what if he does, because, I mean, I have a pretty limited moveset, 
can I fit Ice Shard on there? He, he hasn't seen Roar yet. I mean, Pilot Swine's move pool is kind of slim. I mean, does what does he think I have? I mean, base 100 is not that high. Um, Alakazam, Mega, and I think it goes down here. He does go down. All right. Because yeah, Ice Shard does 25 to 30 percent. All right, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Now, Primeape could come in here. That's all well and good. So that means Mega Alakazam is down. Mega Alakazam is a huge, huge threat. Mega Alakazam is a huge threat. Now, if he comes in and he just goes for, like, um... Like, if he is, like... If he still has Gigalith, which I think he does, because, like, I remember taking out the floor just specifically. And I remember taking out, um... The, the Cophagius. But I don't remember taking out Gigalith. Although I feel like Gigalith is down. There's the monkey. Okay. Um... I'm going to let him take me out, but I will go for the Ice Shard for the damage. And that does good damage. I think that puts him in range of a Bullet Punch. I think that puts him in range of a Bullet Punch. Let me, um, let me see. Alright, so we got Piloswan, and actually, hold on, wait, we got the, uh, Primeape, um, and he's Choice Band, um, and he's, he's Adamant, he's Adamant Band, um, does a Scizor that is Mega Evolved, yeah, I take him out, so, that's great. Uh, I feel like I might have messed up here. I feel like I could have definitely just gone out into Scarfed Hydreigon and picked up the kill. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. I almost clicked on Scarfed Hydreigon to come in. Alright, that's not good. I'm going to go for the... Do I want to go for the U-turn? I'll go for the bullet punch because it will knock him out. This is a very close game. He probably brings in the Gigalith afterwards and he sweeps me after, I think. Because uh, my team... <gasps> I didn't Mega Evolve! No! Why didn't I... I didn't Mega Evolve. Hold on. It doesn't matter. Um, sorry. Forgot to Mega. It didn't matter. Um, that's, a, that's a big no-no on my part. Oh, I'm so dumb. I don't have the Mega Stone. Oh, no. That's... That's why I didn't Mega Evolve, because I don't have the... I put it in Showdown. I actually don't have a Mega Stone. So, um, that's a, that's, that's a problem. Um, I mean, I think I lost anyway. I'm pretty sure I lost anyway, but that's really shitty for me. That's really shitty for me. Because that would be doing literally nothing. And I just definitely messed up there. Um, so... Bullet Punch does nothing, I think. We're, we'll go. We'll go for the Bullet Punch anyway. But that's 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 horrible. That's horrible for me. Um, seeing that's like the hardest thing he hit me with. I can still roost. Um, that doesn't actually do that much. Um, it's unfortunate. Um, 
I'm I'm really upset. I forgot my Mega Stone, dude. I that's the one thing I hate about like because I put it in my um in Showdown to be like non Mega. After doing a mock bat mock battle, saying oh let me not go in as Mega Scissor because I switched in one time and I was Mega Scissor and I was like oh shit I can't do that so I had to I put it back for regular Scissor so that way when I would switch in I would take the the normal damage that I was supposed to be taking so I forgot I but the thing is though I put the Mega Stone on I don't understand why it didn't transfer over because I don't have it that's horrible all right. And the Earthquake should kill me here. It might not. I'm going to go for the knockoff. I'm just really upset about that. I don't have my Mega. I mean, it is what it is. But unfortunately for week one, it's kind of a bummer. I don't know if it cost me the game. It probably did. I think Kelly had it in the bag. Um, keeping his sand around. Although, I think this was a very well-played match. Other than the fact that I... Oh, there's the... That's the thing. Alright. I don't know if it's necessarily over. Yeah, it's over. It's over. Because he'll outspeed me. He'll outspeed both my mons and he'll get the uh, hits off. And it's a crit too. Doesn't matter. It was going to knock me out. And that's a that's a good game, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I will go on to Raikou. I think even after the uh, the Shuckleberry, I will die. Especially for taking that Stealth Rock damage two times. But you know, it, it's Kelly, so it's he's a great player. I'm a bad player. Things happen. Forgot my Mega Stone. No big deal, right? Next week, we'll get them. We'll get them, right? No? Okay. This man went for the Swords Dance on me. I'm done. I'm done. This man went for the Swords Dance on me. Um. This is actually one of the sets that I lost to in my mock battle, so I, should have, I definitely should have prepped harder for it. I didn't see the, uh... I didn't see it coming. It doesn't matter, because that will knock me out. He's at plus two. And the Iron Head will definitely knock me out. Now the question is, um, I actually no, there is no question. I don't live a plus two iron head, uh, but I'll click dark pulse anyway. So that's gonna be a GG to Kelly. That is the two zero victory in his favor. I the fact that I didn't have my mega stone might have made up for, might have made a difference, but I don't think so because the Z crystal probably would have knocked me out anyway. But anyway, um, good game, Kelly. Make sure you guys go check him out. Link will be in the description as always. Um, have yourselves a great day, and I will see you guys next week. I think we battle King Bub and the Munchlaxer United, so stay tuned for that. Peace out.